Hello again everyone, Vincent Shooter here for Shooter Multimedia, coming to you today from Carbondale, Pennsylvania for Antiques on the Park. Here we are in the park, and if we look around, there are antiques. It's just as simple as that, and just as complicated. You want to check it out with me? Let's go. Who do we have here today? Chris from Rosal Floral Antiques and Events at the third annual Antiques in the Park downtown Carbondale. We have vendors here from all over Pennsylvania. We have some from New York City. We have a chicken barbecue going on. We have an antique car show. And we have Nostalgia Night going on in the rooftop of the Best Western Hotel. We have lots more vendors set up around here selling stuff. We have some craft vendors. We have uh, my friend down here selling pierogies, potato pancakes. Mm. We have my friend next to me selling great artwork of a lot of the buildings here in Carbondale. And we have a friend behind me that has some great depression glass. So come on down and see us. Our next show here in Carbondale is August 16th, connected with the Pioneer Night Festival that goes on for a week. And that Saturday, we have uh, also have a parade going on. So come down and see us. Most excellent. Thank you so much for your time. All righty. And don't forget, September 7th in Creekside Grove in Clifford, there's another antique show as well. Arts and Antiques at Creekside Grove. Exit 206 off of Route 81 South, heading towards Binghamton. North or south, get off the exit. You make a left or you make a right, and the grove is on the left-hand side. Most excellent. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon. See you soon. All right. There's a pig. It's a pig. It's a pig. <laughs> from Florida, the guy brought it back to Florida. <laughs> oh my god, look at that bear! Check it out! It's real! Wow! It Taxidermy was, lizard. It was real, it was taxidermized. Okay, so now, about the baby squirrel. When I say a baby a squirrel... Baby and a squirrel fused together. <laughs> Oh, this is the most awesome what in the world? <laughs> the baby squirrel comes all the way from Forest City. No kidding. Yeah. Well, that's, what like, that's, that's, that's what you would find, that's you know, right. Forest City. You that's what you would find in Forest City. That's what you would find in Forest City. That's what you would find in Forest City. She hates that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can afford it. <sighs> Could, Ask her about we, the baby squirrel. She loves the baby squirrel. Could you please tell us, perhaps to the World Wide Web, about the baby squirrel? Yeah. I hate baby squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> baby squirrel? Well, you I can, edit that. Come on, you gotta love I, well, I can imagine the baby squirrel, and when we say the baby squirrel, it's the Literally. baby squirrel. Baby that will be a polarizing baby. item. Like, what on earth does that how the arms Whoa. and legs get there? I'm <laughs> sorry, I felt it's a demented person that made it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've never oh, seen her this, in this, 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 oh, Where do you come by these things? It's so cool. There's people in Farview that should be let out, and there's one who's in this store that should be in there in that place. There's a creature behind you. Well, thank you for sharing your opinion on, on this fine piece of, of taxidermy. Yes, yes. Creature behind you. What the hell? I'm sorry. Who made those creatures? That's a pink. Isn't that a fox? Oh, yeah. yeah, look at that. Muskrat. There you go. There's the face on that too. Oh my goodness. Check it out. Oh, are you a cute? You should be taken off for animal cruelty. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> he skinned that himself. <laughs> I, did, I didn't know you did taxidermy. Oh, we didn't do taxidermy. We just, uh, we just, just skinned it. it. We just skinned it. <laughs> oh.
On the, on the fair here. Oh, they're beautiful. I already bought some jewelry, got some anklets. They're really nice. Everything nice that is really nice here. Excellent. Well, yes, I, will say. I hope you're having a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you. I and, am. I am. And I hope you have a safe trip back to Philly. Thank you. You too. Have a good day. You too. <laughs> Everybody and say, well, who do we have here today? We got Mark. We got Mark. With the 69 GTO having a good time in Carbondale. Most excellent. Which one's yours? This is yours right over here, the green yes, one? Sir. Oh, that is gorgeous. Thank you. What's it got in it? 400. 400, that's very sweet. Yeah. Gentlemen. I'm Bob from Scrap, 89 Mustang. Oh, very nice. 
That's it. Slightly modified, it looks like. I have 550 horses. 550 horses. That's, just, that's the kind of numbers that just makes you giggle, doesn't it? It says 550. You don't have any trouble with, you know, I don't know, straight traction trying to pull out of first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, the tires on that thing looks like, you know. Yeah. Wow. It's a lot of rubber on it. Yeah, that's probably the most rubber I've seen on a 5 liter. Yeah. That's nice. Thank you. Are you good, sir? I'm Jack from Fleetville. That's my 88 convertible 5.0. Very cool. You got a pair of Mustang guys down here. Yeah, and a red car. Very nice. That's the, um, oh, I know this one. Hold on. That looks like a 90. It's an 88. Okay, that was close. You were close. It was close. We did a couple years. So, uh, where's this going on? Going on YouTube. YouTube? Yeah, we're going to put, you can put it up either on shootamultimedia.com is one place you're going to be able to get it. And it'll be linked to the YouTube thing. Or if you just search for the, uh, for Antiques in the Park, we'll, you'll, it'll come up in, you know, in Carbondale. Okay. And so, well, we're searchable. All right, good. Thanks. Well, gentlemen, I want to thank you for sharing your vehicles with us. They're no gorgeous. Problem, man. Thank you for uh, taping us. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Right on, you Thanks. too. Well, who do we have here today? My name is Doug Stark. This is a 1959 Divco milk truck. Wow. Now, this, this is like no small amount of effort to restore. No, or just find it absolutely pristine like this. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Come out of Kansas City and it was, you know, it was a rusted truck. And uh, we My did a family goes. project. My son came home from the Iraq war and uh, he had PTSD and we did, we did uh, this, uh, that's why it's called Triple J's. My three boys, Jason, Jared, and Jeremy. And, my wife and I did it as a uh, family project. Wow. Yeah, you could drive this truck, you could drive it standing up because it has a dual clutch, dual brake, and two gas pedals. Wow. And you could drive it sitting down. And Amazing. So the milkman used to put it in first gear, gear it down real slow, and he'd jump off, and carry his milk, and uh, run door to door, and allow the truck to just creep in real slow. <laughs> You're and, kidding. And run out. You wouldn't be able to do that today. No, ghost riding the truck back in 59. Amazing. You know, milkman grabbed uh, milk bottles there, he ran door to door. That's incredible. I've never heard of that. Yep. Hop in and uh, get a few of it. Well, we shall do that. Wow, it's... You can't hurt it. Jump right in the seat, did uh, Wow. Whoa. You sure I can't hurt? <laughs> this is... It's definitely a unique feel to the whole thing. Yeah, you feel like a milkman, dude? I now feel like a milkman. Cool. And so you'd say you'd, you'd actually drive it standing up, just, just using the clutch this way, or...? Yeah, yep. Halfway down was clutch, all the way down is brake. So he just coasted along, like just standing along, and hopping he out. Slid the wheel over, slid the steer, slid the seat over, the seat, the seat, the seat, the seat the it slides over. Oh yeah, that's, that's, that threw me off at first. And then you're just, wow. You know, I've never thought of milkman as kind of a, a daring job, but ghost riding the darn thing, that's just incredible. It's letting it go. Woo. Well, you've done an incredible job on this. I mean, this is just, it, it, it looks like a model that a kid made, only really big. It's incredible. Love the flag, love the, love, love the, you know, the, uh, the impetus for the project. It's just a beautiful thing. It really is. Thanks. Like it brings that. back a lot of nostalgia, a lot of memories, a lot of people stop by and uh, oh yeah, that's why we enjoy it. It's, it's a great memory. That's great awesome. memory. Thank you. Well, thank you for all your efforts. God bless you and your family, and I hope you, you know, and thank you for sharing this with us here. You're welcome. And to his son, I would like to say, on behalf of everyone who watches this video, thank you for your service, and God bless you. Well, the way I normally do this. All of us. Oh, I'm going to get to everybody. Oh, We're going to okay. pan around. But the way I normally do this is I aim the camera at somebody and I say, well, who do we have here today? And I say, Joanne Spalnick. This is Joanne Spalnick. And who we have over here? Marianne Mark. And? Roxy and Crisera. And? Joel and Mark. And down the end? Crash. Crash. All right. And? <laughs> I think, I'm going to guess that this is Mike. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, and so, and you guys are the coal cracker cruisers? Yes, we are. Now, have anyone, has anyone here actually ever cracked coal? 
I did. <laughs> I did. Have, so they're actual, this isn't just like a picking an area slang thing. You guys are the real deal. Yes, we are. That's why we got the name. Very cool. Very cool. So what, tell, tell me about your wheels. What we got going here? Some left, but we have three, le three cars from the club here. Very cool. This one's pretty in red. That much. <laughs> That's very in, <laughs> I love this. What kind of car is it? It is a street ride. That's Buick. all you need to know. <laughs> 39 Buick street ride. 39 Buick. Now that's different. 39 Buick street ride. My first car was a Buick. Buicks are very close to my heart, and it was not one of these. You know, it was, it was 81 Regal, actually. So it was, you know, not quite the same vintage. But this is just gorgeous. Anybody else want to talk about their wheels here? We got this beautiful swinger here. 1970 brand new, first new car he got. No kidding, and yep. you still got it going. Yep. That's incredible. What's it got out of the hood? Uh, 344 speed. Nice. Very nice. What's the Buick running? What's the, what's the, this is, what's the Buick running? The 39. Oh, very cool. And that brings us to the 300. <laughs> That's just, that's just, what's that? I said the guy who's taking our picture. Yeah, absolutely. We're going, we're talking video, World Wide Web. Huh? Doing a YouTube video. YouTube. You're on it now. You are now world, world renowned. You're tagged now. <laughs> this one here, you got a 64 Chrysler. Amazing. Convertible. Chrysler convertible. Are those functioning side pipes or are they just yeah, decorative? They are. Functioning side pipes coming off of what kind of motor? 413, high performance. The classic 413, oh my goodness. This, I, 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 they let this out of the museum? This is just uh, un unbelievable. The 413. Yeah, the... it's been around a while. Well, I'm just saying, it looks, it's, uh, you don't see a lot of these. I mean, it's you don't see a lot of 300s. No, you don't. You don't certainly don't see a lot of 300 side pipes. He's got that car since he's in high school. No kidding. Yeah. It used to be my everyday car. 60 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> 1971, I bought it. So we're talking about a whole lot of car loyalty going on here. People just have their cars, you know. Oh yeah, we love our cars. Unfortunately, my Buick didn't end up, uh, I ended up keeping that forever. The engine exploded going on to 81 in NASCAR style back in 1991. And so, as I recall, it got used for fire, a fireman's training. They learned how to cut open cars on my first car, so it's... <laughs> oh, boy. And yes, see, it's July 5th at Advanced Auto for our five I'm going to have you say that again because as you went by, a whole bunch of motorcycles went by. It's like, see us next to our next room. So let me come over to you. Oh, no, to my face. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, come on. That's how I can hear you. Oh. See us at our next event at. See us at our next event on July the 5th, Saturday at Advanced Auto in Carbondale. And then August and September, the first Friday of the month at Advanced in Carbondale. And then September the 14th is our 16th annual car show at Carbondale High School. And it's a big, big car show. Excellent, so much. Thanks for the heads up. Okay, and how about doing those three guys over here? They those come guys. Us every year, and they each won a bucket today. Oh, no, Kate, okay, it's very good. Well, you know, I actually did a five minute interview or so with them, not just on the other side. They're, they are in the clip. Oh, they are awesome. And they are awesome guys. They're fun to talk to. Yeah, they, they support us every single Let's see you get them the wave. <laughs> no, there we go. Yes. <laughs> good guys. Yeah, good morning, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody, thank you so much for your time. I'm going to let you enjoy your Where evening. Are we going to be on? Somebody over here. Uh, we're if you go on YouTube and do a search for um, you know, Antiques in the Park, you know, it should come up there, or if you go to uh, Shuta, S H U T A, or like Shut A, and then Multimedia, all one word. S H U T A. Okay. M U L T I M E D I A. Media. Okay. And there's no space between.
between the shooter and the multi -me. It's all one word. Okay, I'm going to write all one. All one. <laughs> all for one and one for all. All right. Thank you ever so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very close, but not quite the same. but the sun apparently got to us a little bit. You can always count on Charlie to help out with the applause over there. <laughs>
check. There we go. There we go. Hey, look, who are you guys? What's that? Who are you guys? We We're are the violent rutabagas. The violent rutabagas. The violent rutabagas. Yeah. The violent rutabagas. <laughs> the violent rutabagas. That is awesome. Videotape that. That's the best you're going to get. You, no, it really is the best I'm going to get. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's not saying much, I guess. <laughs> and you can find them if you email rutabagas at echoes.net. That is awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, buddy. Thanks, man. You guys are awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> Here's how this normally works. So we do is we... Actually, we, uh, that's been my sidekick. Do you? Do the sidekicks want to be worldwide famous? Sidekicks in. All right, we'll go. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, so you're not a sidekick. No. If you take him and go back to them, they're, they're a team. Yeah. <laughs> well, what can we tell you? Well, here's how we'll do this. What I normally do is I aim the camera at somebody and I say, well, who do we have here today? And you say, well, I'm... I'm. There you go. Now we're done. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, right, take two. Well, who do we have here today? I'm Brian Dirk, the Parks and Recreation Director for the City of Carbondale. Excellent. Well, this is an incredible thing you have going here. You want to tell us about anything else that's going on or what's going on here? Well, uh, we have a fun full day. We have uh, family activities. We still have family activities going on over there with the antique car show. Uh, we have the fireworks tonight at 930. Uh, hope for a couple thousand people down here. Excellent, most excellent. Well, thank you for going through all this effort. You got it. And who's hamburger? Oh, he's the cook of that burger. Excellent. Thank you, good sir. Can we have this yeah. over here and include in this? Absolutely, we can get him over the World Wide Web. World Wide Web Tuesday, they call him. His, uh, his hashtag is Big Arms. His, his hashtag is Big Arms? Yes. Hashtag Big Arms here, cranking out. Hashtag comedian. Hashtag comedian. But nobody laughs. <laughs> dry humor. That's so the cook for the day. The cook for the day and the dry humor for the day. Uh, and that means he's the wet humor. He's, <laughs> the, he's, he's the mayor humor. He's the mayor humor. There we go. The mayor of humor. So then we have the. Mayor of the city and humor. Oh, I, I know. I figured once you said he's the mayor, got to be the mayor. Of, they, just so you know, he's a man of the people. He's got the hose. Yep. He's getting the hose. He's doing a blog. <laughs> It would be kind of sad to do all this and not interview the mayor. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> where did you, now, where were your blog beyond? It'll be on uh, shootemultimedia.com. But it's going on YouTube. Oh, so okay. if you do a search on YouTube, right. uh, you know, Antiques in the Park, you know, 2014, it should come up. All right. Unless something is horribly wrong. Are you from around here? I'm from Alton. Oh, nice. It's, uh, very cool. Thank you so much for your time. No, no problem. Uh, glad that you came up. Appreciate your interest. Oh, it's a great night, time. And your night, the night is still young. Make sure you stay for the fireworks. We'll do our best. And we have the violent rutabagas. I was, I was, I was getting a little bit of the violent rutabagas. They're incredible. They are good. So, but thank you so much for your time. You got it, brother. All I ever do is I aim the camera at my subject and I say, well, who do we have here today? I'm Justin Taylor, I'm the mayor of Carbondale, and uh, we're having a great time here at Antiques in the Park. Well, thank you so much for helping us put all this stuff together. It's a great time here, you know. It is. Turnout was great, the weather was phenomenal. Uh, really uh, something for everybody today. Well, thank you. again, thank you for this, thank you for being here. I see we were, we were talking about, man, the people you've worked in the hose. I was on the hose for a little while, yeah. They get, they're do, doing what needs to be done for the city of Carbondale. We're, we're in cleanup mode now, thank God. <laughs> well, thank you, so thank, you so so thank you so much for this, and thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Have a good one. Well, who do we have here today? I'm Chris uh, Pollock from Hanover Township, Pennsylvania. I'm here with my little Jimmy's Italian ice cart. Woo! And uh, we're here for the antiques in the park and the fireworks celebration here in downtown Carbondale. It's a wonderful, wonderful event that we've been doing for, this is our third year, and we've always had a great time here. The people are wonderful, the other vendors are wonderful. And, oh, sorry, honey. And it's a, it's a great time. Look at this wonderful stuff, Cap. This is magic happening right here. Right here, right here. Looks like some mango going, and then what's, what's being added in there? That's uh, cherry. cherry. Cherry, wow. Yeah, and, and in one of our baseball helmets. We have all 30 teams in our baseball helmets. Most excellent. What's the most popular so far? The most popular helmet? Yes. Oh, Phillies. Phillies and far and wide. Okay. Phillies and Yankees are the two popular. Yeah, that, that's I, pretty par for the area. Yeah, so. yeah it is. Uh, Pittsburgh's not too bad. Baltimore Orioles because of the colors. But yeah, Phillies, Yankees, hands down. Not a lot of Marlins, you're saying, perhaps. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. <laughs> We're a bit far from there. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but other than that, it's a good time. 
Well, thank you ever so much for your time, and thank you for being here, hydrating us all and keeping us happy with wonderful flavored stuff. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming down. Thank you so much. Take care. Take care now. Bye. Bye. Bye.